Um, do this real quick, Tucker Carlson. Yo, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I ain't you know I'm be trying to get too political or nothing with nothing, but I'm gonna be honest. I do watch. Good evening, few, it's Tucker Carl. I watch a few people, or I used to watch a few people on, um, like you know, YouTube that be on different channels. If you wonder where my like, you know, again, I wanna just because we don't rumble, I don't want people to think I'm preaching nothing politics. So I don't even talk about what I feel politically. But I'm gonna tell you what I do watch when I'm on some political shit. I watch everybody. I like to watch Ari Melba uh, or Ari or whatever his name is. I like to watch Tucker Carlson. I, I think they're great orators. I think you know they, they they got great ways how to put down ideas or trying to like you know convince you to believe whatever side they got going on. You know, again, I just kind of look at it like that. Um, and also, sometimes this should be entertaining, right? Anyway. Um, Two people got let go, Don Lemon and Tucker Carlson. Tucker Carlson worked for Fox News. Some people believe that he got let go because, you know, he was kind of getting off of the Fox News, like, talking points agenda, and he was kind of straying away. Some people believe that, you know, apparently him and Trump hated each other, all type of stuff. Anyway, um, I look at it from a broadcasting perspective. These guys have had, like, 10, 20 years of being on TV. They have a lot of uh, people who used to follow them. Apparently, he had like 4 million listeners every time he went live on his show. But now, he just suddenly lost his job or got fired, and he started addressing people um, on Twitter, right? Or he responded on Twitter. This is what he said. Carlson, one of the first things you realize when you step outside the noise for a few days is how many genuinely nice people there are in this country, kind and decent people, people who really care about what's true, and a bunch of hilarious people also, a lot of those. It's gotta be the majority of the population, even now. So that's heartening. The other thing you notice when you take a little time off is how unbelievably stupid most of the debates you see on television are. They're completely irrelevant. They mean nothing. In five years, we won't even remember that we had them. Trust me, as someone who's participated. And yet at the same time, and this is the amazing thing, the undeniably big topics, the ones that will define our future, get virtually no discussion at all. War, civil liberties, emerging science, demographic change, corporate power, natural resources. When was the last time you heard a legitimate debate about any of those issues? It's been a long time. Debates like that are not permitted in American media. Both political parties and their donors have reached consensus on what benefits them, and they actively collude to shut down any conversation about it. Suddenly, the United States looks very much like a one-party state. That's a depressing realization, but it's not permanent. Our current orthodoxies won't last. They're brain dead. Nobody actually believes them. Hardly anyone's life is improved by them. This moment is too inherently ridiculous to continue, and so it won't. The people in charge know this. That's why they're hysterical and aggressive. They're afraid. They've given up persuasion. They're resorting to force. But it won't work. When honest people say what's true, calmly and without embarrassment, they become powerful. At the same time, the liars who've been trying to silence them shrink, and they become weaker. That's the iron law of the universe. True things prevail. Where can you still find Americans saying true things? There aren't many places left, but there are some, and that's enough. As long as you can hear the words, there is hope. See you soon. Okay. Good evening, it's Tucker Carlson. All right, so, uh, homie got fired. Then, um, Don Lemon got, you know, Don Lemon, he put up like a little notepad thing. Because they, they can't his ass, too. He said this. I was informed about this morning by my agent that I've been terminated by CNN. I am stunned. After 17 years at CNN, I would have thought someone in management would have the decency to tell me directly. At no time was I ever given an indication that I will not be able to continue to do the work that I've loved at a network. It's clear that some larger issues at play. With that being said, I want to thank my colleagues and many teams I have worked for. Um... Uh, many teams I work for for an incredibly run, run they are the most talented journalists in the business and I wish them all the best okay so let me just kind of break this down Don Lemon yo stupid ass got fired because you went off script brother okay you work for CNN but be clear you're a puppet 
Okay, we don't want you to do too much thinking, and we want you to just keep spewing out what the agenda of the um, establishment, which is CNN, wants. Okay, they're a liberal platform who probably make more money not just on advertisement, but because of certain shit they're pushing. You know, they they help control and affect elections. Okay. So, Don Lemon, the moment you start saying that, yo, I, I think he said woman, um, he, he basically said old bitches are less valuable or some shit, some shit. Let me see if I can find the comments that he said. Older woman, let me see. Yeah, oh, he said some, some chick wasn't, isn't in... Prime. He says some chick wasn't in her prime. Let me see if I can get it. All right. Is it this? Long time CNN being terminated today as inaccurate. The net. Damn, they must have scrubbed that shit from the from the whole shit. Anyway. Oh, this was. Meanwhile, but CNN released it for saying that presidential can damn you can't even find that shit this thing was saying some shit about he basically said can i not find this shit now holy shit all right man i can't find a comment basically he said some chick was fucking old Basically, he said she was past her prime and shit like that. And nobody liked it because he, he, here's the thing. CNN is a left-leaning organization. They're, super, they're, they're trying to appeal to the super woke. And in the super woke, a 50-year-old chick is as valuable or like, you know, in her prime, just like a 25, 30-year-old. Let's say 25-year-old chick, right? Again, this is like that leftist bullshit. This is that motherfucking like just delusional shit where like you got to be so woke you can't really tell the truth don lemon he don't even like bitches he like he like niggas he gay he like dick you feel me so he fucked up and said like the truth right he fucked up and said the truth that you know what i mean the company ain't like and the company said get the fuck on out of here man okay like listen we, we were keeping you around he was already kind of acting like yo he was bigger than cnn saying that yo cnn better not try to control his views well the first time he fucked up they got that nigga the fuck on out of here man okay they already knew this nigga was like listen he was munch like, like, like he's a munch you feel me he's a munch with some other shit pause but as soon as like he fucked up and said the thing that crossed the agenda, they got him on out of here. Now, Tucker Carlson, they got that nigga out of here too. And he's on the other side of everything. You know what he fucked up and did? He start kind of going off rails when it comes to like this, like talking points of like Fox. That's number one. Number two, you know what he also did wrong? This motherfucker don't like Trump and Trump finna win. I'm sorry. Like Trump about to get back in his bag. He Some shit leaked that said he don't like Trump. They said, all right, this thing gotta go. Third of all, there, Fox News is paid. I didn't even know they had this much money. Fox News. Look, Fox News pays millions. Look, it's some Dominion suit. So so basically, all of them Fox News pundits, when they were trying to like agree with Trump, saying that, yo, the election was a fraud, they basically claimed that uh, 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 like one of those vote machines were rigged to like make Biden win. This is the company that makes it the machine. So they're like, yo, bro, after you done slandered us, we can't get no business no more. Like, yo, we, we, we're, we're voting machines. So anyway, they, they came to a settlement for over like $787 million, which basically mean Fox News didn't even have to apologize. All they had to do was pay the money and like basically like retract certain shit. Um, it was a public defamation suit pretty much. And they said this is the largest one in the whole fucking like, you know, assist, uh, uh, his, U.S. history involving a media company, okay? So, now, it didn't say they had to fire nobody or even apologize, but apparently a part of the suit was a lot of, like, you know, you know, um, supposed private conversation between some of his, like, pundits, like, that they were having that was kind of off-key. Um, also, another suit that, that this Tucker Carlson nigga was involved in, apparently this nigga Tucker Carlson um was a little bit bigoted and also was praising like some child porn i ain't gonna lie to you like he was with this whole pedophilia shit like so 
They were, he was praising, and again, I'm, I'm gonna be kind of careful. I, I know they don't really look at niggas like me, but shit, I don't want to catch no lawsuit over no, nothing like that. But apparently, there was like some audio of him saying that, you know, um, basically not denouncing ideas of young kids sexualizing themselves, and basically he kind of in a roundabout way admitted that. He wouldn't mind, or maybe he's turned on by it. They'd probably be like, "Get this weirdo on out of here, man!" Like, nah, and by the way, I like his content, but like, bro, y'all niggas crossing the establishment, fucking up. They kick y'all niggas to the fucking curb. You get what I mean? Like, that's just exactly what happened. Now, here's the thing with, for Tucker Carlson. I think Tucker Carlson could go get like a bigger bag than he was getting from Fox anywhere else because people liked his opinion. But Don Lemon, you know what I mean? Like. Bro was woke for no reason and they kicked his ass out. Like, where the fuck is he going to go? Like, MSNBC or some dumb shit like that? Bruh. Yo, Don Lemon and Tucker Carlson. This is why y'all niggas got to have a backbone, man. When y'all work for Fox and CNN and those mainstream media corporations, they just want you to shut the fuck up and play ball and just play by the script and promote their political candidate. Y'all thought y'all was bigger than the program. That's why y'all ass is sitting on the outside of the fucking building. Your key card don't work no more. Your goddamn, like, uh, 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 um, all your access don't work. They fired y'all, man. Y'all got to play y'all fucking role. I'm sorry to tell y'all. This is why, like, politics, I don't never want to get into politics because you're never bigger than the program. You really don't own your opinion about politics because someone will purchase it, right? Someone will offer you some money where you need to now speak for them. We just seen the prize situation. That nigga was... He's seen a nigga spend a million dollars in 30 minutes and he became that nigga's bitch. That nigga gave him $20 million over, over the span of nine months and he probably thought he was living the fucking life until he got locked up. So again, politics is a really weird thing where apparently they say that that Tucker Carlson dude was affecting the majority of white America on how they should vote. So they said that he didn't like Trump, but he would act like he liked Trump to basically stay on course with Fox News shit. But, like, a lot of people are listening to him to know who they should vote for. That's crazy. Imagine that power. Imagine the influence that's going to come with it. Imagine people who are going to try to buy that influence out. And Don Lemon, we all know that. It's like, come on, it's Don Lemon, bro. Like, it's Don motherfucking Lemon. Come on, gay is a $2 bill. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But we all know that he ain't, like, I've never even seen him really stand for shit other than, you know what I mean? I, I just seen him fuck up when he just said, man, that chick is old and washed up. And as soon as he said that, bro, sometimes these gay dudes be like, I remember what that saucy Santana nigga, he thought he was more. He said that straight women got they swag from him. Brother, I know you gay and everything, but sometimes you yeah, gotta realize most of this woke shit is really to protect the women. All right. So they got that nigga out the cut and hey, it is what it is. I'm sorry to say. All right. <sighs> Somebody say he does like Trump. No, he don't like Trump, bro. There was some leaked doc. There's some leak audio that came out in the lawsuit that said he, or leaked transcripts that said he couldn't stand Trump. I'm talking about Tucker Carlson. He said he couldn't wait till Trump got out of office, but he got to interview the dude to play nice, like, bro. Like I be watching this shit. Like I ain't gonna lie to you. All right, man. Somebody said big act. Die you here, blue. Fuck out of here, man. <laughs> 